want to welcome you all to the 2018 graduating class. We are so proud of this group. And I want to welcome all our distinguished guests, our school board, Mr. Hamoud, who's our school board chair and president, our keynote speaker, Dr. Jill Otley, and most importantly, a welcome to the parents, families, and friends of our 2018 graduates. Without families, our work is hollow. And at this time, I'd like to have um, uh, Tina Liebling, please stand up, Representative Liebling. Could you give her a round of applause, please? She was our keynote speaker two years ago, and um, sometimes politicians get a bad rap, but politicians are the ones that are helping get our policies and our concerns out in front and making sure that we have a land of, of laws and civility. So thank you, Representative Liebling. We really appreciate the work you do. Um, we built this school on the trust that the parents have given us. And I want to make sure that everybody in the room understands every word I say. So Ali, can you help me with that? Uh, and <laughs> And we build on that trust, and the success of the school is built on the relationships with students and families, and that's based on trust. And school ka hormar kisi gushi so hai kudi santa hai wada shakain ta kada hai sa walid ka yo 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 koises ka arurta yo school ka wada shakain ta kada hai sa ye kudi santa. The purpose of high school is to prepare students for college and the world of work. Today we present you 25 young people who have completed their preparations to graduate from high school and continue on to college. All of these seniors have been accepted into college. وحان ما أنت أودي أرسن جامعة وهل كنت شو قشان يلا باتن أرضي ودمان تود لقى أقبل الكولجية دي جامعة ديها إربين إنا جلال. The class of 2018 tallied more than 100 college applications, more than 30 college acceptances, 200 scholarship applications over $575,000 of scholarship money, 278 college credits from Rochester Community and Technical College, and more than one, and this is the most dear for me, more than 1,000 hours of volunteering and service to their community. Kalas uh, Kerman, 2018, waxa ay sameeyeen yaani waxyaabo cajiiba oo runtii aad la yaabi doontaan ee waxay sameeyeen boqol codsi ay jaamacadaha u qorteen boqol codsi bay qorteen waxay heleen aqbalaad jaamacadeed oo ah soddon aqbalaad ay heleen waxay heleen laba boqol oo deeqo deeqo waxbarasho ay heleen waxay heleen أدلة إسكود دار العقد تدق وحبرشة أيهلين شم بقول يتدبات إني شن كون أو دولار أو دق وحبرشة أيهلين وحي هاي استان أرد داني أمر جامع ديه هراء يودي جنا ين كولج كاي دي جنا ين كه هاي استان لا بقول تدبات إني سدات كريدت أيه هاي استان وحاكسي درنين تاس وحي سميان كون ساعة ضد أو فلنتيرا إسكا وحقب ساعة أيه سميان the 
Now every year through Strategy 2018, which took us from 74 students and one PSEO student to now 120 students and 20 PSEO students. Um, these participants took the faith and trust of our school board and parents and stuck with Strategy 2018. Even though the first year we implemented it, the school lost $80,000. But Strategy 2018 today has grown our bank reserves up to 200,000 and a population of 120 students, and that's why we can make it work. That's taxpayer money well spent. Strategy is a very important thing to do with the city of Tobanka. Dr. Razi is a very important thing to do with the city of Tobanka. کالج کنن لباس لوا سنا و کالج جای هستن. ما این سهل نیم بیرو مرکان امید و حیا هدی سکول کو بلاو تدبات نی آفر اردی و هل اردی مرکا او که آدوا کالج کا او بیسیو اویه هی. حدا بقولی لواتن اردی لواتن کمی دی ای کالج کا آدوا او ای دیگه تو کالج کا سنت کان وقتی کی وح رئیسی و حالو کخ جلی نیل عجای سیدات کن سوا ولی با اسکول کو و سن مرکا آورد داس اولهاین ایو جلیهای هد سنت کستای اسکول کو لعق بدن بکو بحیا این اردادن سی ای وجود استان و حبر شده ده و پی اس سی او گوده یا حبر شده ده و انکه هدی دارن انت اردای قاضی پی اس سی او گا یه میشه که کاره Our new strategic plan is ISO 9001, which will expand building our infrastructure by remodeling the school and putting on an addition, building our relationships with students and parents, creating more partnerships with the community to help our students succeed at school and work. Strategy at Usub, Ayu Haddana, Dr. Razi Ukane, Ule ISO 9001. الگو ها گاچی نیا الگو نه هر مرین ایا اسکول که و حا دسمه اسکول که ایا ل هر مرین ایا ول بدل ایا ول دس ایا و حالا گشقین ایا و دشقین تا حدیر که والد که ایا اسکول که ایا ل هر مرین ایا و حالا ابور ایا اسکاشی کودسان این ای که و دشقین اسکول که ایا کمیتی که ایا والد که ایا دمان ای که و دشقین ایا ل ابور ایا استراتژی در عصب وی ایا دن ال رب این لیرگلی The secret to our success has been empowering our students. We've totally changed the school culture of Rochester STEM Academy. I couldn't have done it alone. It took a fine and outstanding staff and students who rose to the occasion to be empowered. They did all the planning and execution of our first yearbook, our first senior trip, our first college for every student training initiatives, and yes, planning and organizing tonight's event. One thing that wasn't on their agenda was to have me talk for so long. So, without further ado, I'll let Ali take us to the next step, which will be our first student speaker. Ardada ya arurta o lagaliyo en awod iya wahqa la awiyo wa wahyabaha lugu hormarin karo in ardada ladiri galiyo ایا گل تو صدری قائن و حقبتان؟ اردادن ما انتقال این چبین است و حاکی سمیان تریب کی اما سعودال کی وحوری و ایا گو آ کلاس کلا بیت تمنادا ایمیل استاد که کپ حس نیکو آدن و حساس سرم بوقی تاریخی که های رکورد که ها وحوری اسکول کو اولی های ایا حساس سرم و حکا قیب قاتن و حلی راه دو برنامج لی راه دو عرض کستای و اینو کالج آدو برنامج کاس ایا که قیب قاتن و ها آن ربنا این اد اوقاتان این حال که برنامج که کما اکا و حیا و بدن بچی را لکین و هنگوس و گوینه اینا اینا این تاس و ده هذل کی هد ده خود بدی آن کوچو چنو آن آن کوچو چنو قف ک کلا ای هذل یا ای اردده و فرتون عثمان. Please welcome Fortune Osman.
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mudani ali marwain martidan sharaf ta badan kalab bunaksan da maantin. Inta sika dib maali kalab bunaksan aniga ku hadlaaya maga ardi da duksiga sare e Raja Sistem Academy. O maanti ka qalin jimi naaya naga gudo misalaan qiima ya qaaya ku daan taay. Adi yadugu mahsin tiin madda maat ka soqayb gashan maalin tanaad ki nogu wain. Tani maa han tilaabadi ugu dan baysa e wax barasha dayna, e wa tilaabadi ugu horaysa e aan uqaadna. Inna gu ham migaynu yaha ina nafaqna dal keena, tad keena i diin teena melo boan jogna. Dal i dibagna. Wa ha maa han ta farxad wain ina wa ina an ka qalin jimina ina duksiga sara e Rajasthir Islam Academy. Iskool kaan lamid maa han iskoola da kale waa i wuxu ugu duwain yaha i wa xayaabab badan. سيد برشة لقد عربية أو نجا هذه نوعا مهم هذا أنه هيدا المسلمين هل كانوا حنقوم هذا علينا الله سبحانه وتعالى أو نسيه وحلب ما انتهي سنة مركز لبعض والدين تنا ونجرب كأن مرنا بعد لين مركز الدحاد معلمين تنا وسكل سوني شرف كده هن تي واحد نوبرة يقف ولي بأك شقير وجستر استاذ مكادمي أي هرمود كويهين دكتور واسي يشق علي وحان هل كان هنبلي ومرينا يا أردن قرحة بدني ولا له هيجا ما أنت لقى لنجيبنا يا هنبلي يا هنبلي يا وحاجاتين ناتين كوي ذلكي ذاتي أنك سو تجني جرب قابل لها إن شاء الله قب قبضي جنانتك أنا قال هلا يا أردن ما أنت لقى لنجيبنا يا سو وحينا بلنا إن أنك كل إن دب كل مدانة كل كل من حلف ذا أي بارياشة أنك كل إن ماله مهم كا إن هو كمير دلنا وحبرش ذيني نقرني نسيدا إنجنيرو دكتورة معلمين يعلم الدين إن شاء الله وما سنتين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. وحنوع دون عرضي وحجة وكحد لدون عربي محمد الشق. الحمد لله. الحمد لله الذي جعل العلم قبلة للذين يريدون خير الدنيا والآخرة الحمد لله الذي أرسل حبيبه بقرآن محكم يحمل بين آياته يرفع الله الذين آمنوا منكم والذين أوتوا العلم درجات أصحاب المعالي والسعادة زملائي وزميلات الخريجين والخريجات أساتذتنا الأفاضل أمهاتنا وآباؤنا وإخوتنا وأصدقاؤنا ضيوفنا الأكارم أيها الحفل الكريم مرحبا بكم جميعا سيدات وسادة أحييكم نيابة عني وعن زملائي الخريجين والخريجات بتحية الإسلام تحية معطرة بوحها تقدير ومحبة ونجاح يتلوه عضاء لا ينتهي ألا وهي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته اليوم اليوم أخف أمامكم وكل فخر بأمن الله علي وعلى زملائي الخريجين والخريجات الذين أتحدث نيابة عنهم بإتمام دراستنا الثانوية بعد أربع سنوات من التعب والسهر لأجل هذه اللحظة وما هذه الوقفة إلا تدفعني لأن أتذكر كل كلمة قاسية وجهها لي أساتذة الكرام بأن أحرص على دراستي وأجعلها محظة اهتمامي الأول لأن للنجاح طعم لا مثيل له فأجد نفسي تحدثني بأبيات شعر للإمام الشافعي رحمه الله يقول اصبر على مر الجفا من معلم فإن رسوب العلم في نفراته ومن لم يذق مر التعلم ساعة تذرع ذل الجهل طول حياته ومن فاته التعليم وقت شبابه فكبر عليه أربعا لوفاته وذات الفتى والله بالعلم والتقى إذا لم يكونا لاعتبار لذاته نعم مدرسة الغراء يا من كنت تحرصين على, على تقديم أفضل الكفاءات لتدريسنا كي أخرج أنا ومن تخرج يوما من على هذه المنظة وأقول بكل اعتزاز أنا تخرجت من مدرسة راتشستر ستيم أكاديمي وأنني بدت اليوم جاهزاً لأنطلق نحو مستقبلي في أي مكان في هذا العالم 
وأنا أملك القوة الكافية إن شاء الله لأن أكون متميزا وجديرا في بأعلى المراكز إن الأبواب قد فتحت أمامكم يا أيها الخريجون فاسعوا تحقيق أنفسكم وانتزعوا النجاح وانتزعوا النجاح من مخالب واقعكم إن كان مريرا لم توفي كلماتي كل الذين يعملون في هذا المسرح من المدير وحتى الأستاذ وحتى المرأة التي وحتى المرأة المكافحة التي كانت تعمل على توزيع الطعام ونظافة المدرسة كي تظهر دائما بأبهى حلة وتوفى راحة لناظري في قلبي حب كثير لمن كان له فضل علي يوما بأن وصلت إلى ما أنا عليه الآن إلى المرأة التي أتغذى من عمرها منذ خلقت المرأة التي لطالما سهرت على راحتي حبا وأملا في أن أكون اليوم بين هذه اللجوم اللاعمة أمي حبيبة قلبي والتي قد أجهش بالبكاء وأنا أتحدث عن حنوها ورقة قلبها الذي لم يتسع يوما لشيء كما يتسع إلى الآن أما أبي وآباؤكم جميعا الذين سعوا طوال حياتهم وعملوا بكد من أجل أن يوفروا لنا سبل الراحة وكل الوسائل التي لطالما وكل الوسائل التي تمكننا من النجاح وتحقيق ذواتنا فنقول لهم ها أنتم اليوم تغرسون الحصاد الذي زرعتم فنسأل الله أن يكتب لكم الجنة كما أحسنتم تربيتنا وأنرتم ضريقنا وباسم 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 هؤلاء الخريجين أشكر لكم حسن استماعكم وعلى قلوبكم سلامات من الله ورحمات والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله Next, I will introduce my friend Drahman Afay, speaker on behalf of the PSC of students. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy, and blessings of Almighty God be upon you all. My story starts four years ago in September of 2014. When I first walked through the gates or the doors of Rochester STEM Academy, my first feeling was I did not want to be there. Mainly because I've listened to what people said about the school and I judged the school based on that. Well, I found out years on that I was wrong and the people were wrong. And I, STEM grew on me and I found out that STEM was the school for me. Even though you hear Dr. Rossi always saying PSEO this and PSEO that. Um, I appreciate Dr. Rossi for helping us get into PSEO and even telling us the knowledge of PSEO and for convincing the board into letting us be PSEO students. For those of you who are even considering about taking PSEO, let me tell you what PSEO first means. PSEO is a program which lets high school students take college classes. And get, and get college credit, all at it being free. Yes, I said it, it being free, totally free. And for those of you who are even considering taking the uh, PSEO test and the AccuPlacer test, I would give you one golden rule. One rule that I used and I think will help you guys. The rule is, is that I, I took the test as something that could help me. I did not take the test as something that could hurt me or something that could decrease my knowledge or the level I was at at the time. And I think that if people use this rule and, and stick to it, they will succeed as I have. To sum things up, first of all, I would like to thank God for us being here today and, and for us getting us to this stage. This is truly a blessing for us to graduate today and not a lot of people have this opportunity so let's, let's, let's use this to the best of our capability. Next, next I would like to thank my mom for always being there for me and for, for never leaving my side. And every time 
I look behind her, she always be there, to the goods and to the bads. Hoyo. Hoyo, wakajalaha, which means, Mom, I love you. Next, I would like to thank all the staff members and the teachers of Rochester STEM Academy. They're truly my family. And, and I thank them for striving to help me and, and to tell me and to teach me about my goals. There's one teacher in particular that, that, that has been with me throughout the four years of, my, of me being in Rochester STEM Academy. And that teacher is none other than Mrs. Hicks. <laughs> Mrs. Hicks, you truly are an amazing and incredible person. I thank you for always being there for me for the for four years of high school and for always achieving my expectations. When I first walked into school, I did not think I was gonna meet a person like you who helped me in ways that nobody could ever expect. I thank you, yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Hicks is truly the mother of STEM. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, I would like to thank my classmates. I would like to thank you guys for always just being there and for always having fun with me and helping me out whatever I need you guys. And yeah, let's just do great and, and helpful things with our community. And yeah, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And next, the, the next speakers today is our Co-Valley Victorians, which are gonna be coming up is Munir Alimir and Lul Sharif. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you all for coming. And as I look over here, I'm just filled with so much admiration and love because the room is filled with people, classmates, schoolmates, teachers, family, and I'm just so happy. And like the fact that I have this entire community that's come out here to support me is inspiring. This is what STEM is truly about. This is what STEM means. The fact that you can come anywhere and that you'll find somebody who's there for you. Somebody who's like, right, like Suggle right now who just gave me the heart sign in the crowd. I love you Suggle. And I'm very grateful for this. Um, I know we say a lot that the best high school in America is honest, but I truly believe the best high school in America is Rochester STEM Academy. Woo! Yeah! Everything, I've only been here for two years. I came here in May of 2016 and I was a very nervous, scared person. I wasn't sure where I was going or what I was going to do or how I was going to get there. But I came here and I found people who believed in me, not because I was smart or I, because I was loud or I knew what I was doing with my life. I had people who believed in me because they knew I had the chance to do something with my life. And I, that inspired me so much. And over the last two years, I didn't think that I would find my community. I thought I would graduate and go on with my life, do whatever I want after that. But I know now that I am a STEMer, and I am a STEMer through and through. And every single one of these people I see in the crowd are STEMers. They will represent STEM very proudly as they move on forward. Over the last four years here at STEM, we have learned many things. For example, Ms. Wilkes taught us how to locate all 54 countries of Africa on the map. Um, Mr. Edwards um, made our class write an analysis of Machiavelli and compare it to a current leader. And Mr. Jones was known for beating the class at every single game. Okay. <laughs> Although STEM is a relatively new school, so much has been done. For example, the National Honor Society made a diff the National Honor Society was started last year, but it wasn't until this year that our classmates really made a difference with it. They have organized clothing drives, fundraiser fundraisers for leukemia patients, and donated care packages to Dorothy Day House. Thanks to Amina, who has been headstrong with it. In addition, STEM has had an ongoing relationship with Mayo Clinic for blood donation. The first time this was tried, it wasn't very successful, but as the years went on, the response of people willing to donate blood has been mind-blowing. That's all thanks to Mr. Jones, who has been advocating tirelessly to the students and to the community that they matter. Yeah. 
There are so many examples of how our students brought each other up and never laughed at each other, but with each other. For example, there was a time while we were performing a poem, Amina made a turkey noise. I'm sure you guys <laughs> all remember that. Um, there was also a time where Munir 143 Near 143 would say you drop something and the person would turn only to find nothing. There was another time during Joan's health class while we were talking about how drugs are bad for you, someone mentioned something about lean and Sarah said she eats it all the time. Um, she meant the actual lime though, not drugs. <laughs> there was a time when Amina would hiccup very loudly, her very high, loud pitched hiccup at an event where people looked back at her including famous Olympian fencer Ibtihaj Muhammad. Although we can't go back and relive these wonderful moments filled with joy and time, we will remember them forever. They'll shape the way we look at the world and how we, how we decide to go on and to interact with others. And as we leave and grow older, our life will grow harder as well. But no matter how hard life is, don't lose hope. Do not give up. During the next few years, we'll face very difficult tasks that will only make us stronger. To make your dreams come true, you need to believe in yourself the way that STEM believed in us. STEM's given us a gift to empower ourselves, like Dr. Rossi said earlier, to make ourselves stronger, not only as high school students, as college students, as adults, as Muslims, as good people in this world. And whatever you do, stick to that dedication. Grow up and become the very best version of yourself. Like Dr. Sue said, there is no version of you that is youer than you, and that is true. I might have butchered that a little bit, but you know the meaning, you get me. So no matter what you're going through, no matter how much terror you have at the moment, remember that you can come back to STEM and that you have 23 other classmates, 24, sorry, 24 other classmates that are here for you and that will support you throughout everything that you do. Um, and I have, I want to donate the next 60 minutes to remind us all, 60 seconds, sorry. I want to donate the next 60 seconds to remind us all that we can change the future. Right now, as I look across the room and I look at the people in the crowd, I see a room that is filled with young people who will change the world. Young people who will stand up and rise and do so many wonderful things, not just in politics, but in medicine, in law, in technology, in business. I see so many people who will grab the world by its reins and change it so, so much. And it, it makes me so proud. It makes me so, it makes my heart expand. I am so ready to see a future where STEM students are like leading the world. And I want us to remind ourselves that we are in a time right now where America is changing very quickly and we have the power, our votes, our voices, everything that we do, we can change America. In 2018, this year, yes Ms. Wilkes, I'm going down this path, this year almost all the spots at the election are open for for, sorry, for all the election spots are open. So the governor, both our senators, our representatives, everybody is op everyone's office is open for a change. So vote for people who you know will represent you, who will make our lives as young Muslim people and young Americans much better. People who will make the future of America a better place for us to live in. We want to live in a better, healthier, safer world. And that starts with us. Every small step we take from here to the ballot box will change the world. As every other class before us, we have been the oldest and the role models of the little kids. Now we will enter a new stage where we are the youngest and the well, well, we are the youngest and the new adults, while the older adults are our role models. Be who you are and say what you feel, because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. It's a famous quote by Dr. Seuss. One day we'll look back to the moments that have passed. We'll smile and we'll laugh, but right now we'll cry because it's so hard to say goodbye. This moment right here could be the last we're in the same room together. So make life worth living and remember things turn out for the, yeah. so, so make life worth living and remember things turn out best for the people who make the best of the way things turn out. Today we close a chapter of our high school life. Tomorrow we begin writing another one. Let us make that chapter an interesting one. Shoot for the start, guys. Congratulations, Congratulations to the class of 2018. <laughs> And now we are going to be presented our medallions for being valedictorians. All right. Can you come up and explain the chords? Okay. 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 We had two valedictorians, and Lou and um, Munira graduated from college before they got their diploma. Um, So the board chair and myself will present the valedictorian medal. And 
um, and Mrs. Wilkes, who's our PSEO advisor and, and does the Thursday seminar every morning with the PSEO students, will explain uh, some of the honors that the students are, are receiving. I want you to know the meaning of the cords they're wearing. Good evening. If you look to your right and you see all our graduates, you'll notice they have different emblems on them. These represent things that they have achieved, and I cannot be more proud of the class of 2018 and everything that you have achieved. So if you see a gold cord, would everyone the gold cord please stand up for me? These students have achieved a cumulative GPA from ninth grade all the way through 12th grade of 3.5 or better. That is an A average. Congratulations. <laughs> If you see them wearing a white stole, that means they were a member of National Honor Society. So not only are they good students and STEMers, but they are good citizens as well and have given back tremendously. If you have a white stole National Honor Society, could you please stand up? Okay. And finally, if they have a blue and gold uh, Honors Corps, that means they were able to take classes at RCTC while still in high school. Three of them have actually completed their associate's degrees, which is just fantastic. If you have an RCTC Corps, please stand up. And, and finally, and finally, we have our two valedictorians. They both managed to get more than an A average. They had a 4.2 GPA, and they are co-valedictorians. Congratulations. And now we're going to introduce the staff speaker, Mr. Edwards. Thank you, everyone. Isn't that just impressive, folks? One more hand for the ladies. Hi, my name is Jonathan Edwards, Mr. Edwards to those of you who haven't graduated yet. And I have been asked here today to speak on behalf of the faculty, but I'm not going to do that. You see, the faculty of this institution, Rochester STEM Academy, is a variable fairy tale of the right kind of crazy. Individuals so good at what they do, I'm awestruck daily just to be around them. Luck doesn't suffice to describe what got me here on this team, on this stage, today. What put me with this team of amazing teachers and with these fantastic students four years ago was serendipitous at the very least, if not divine. Under the supreme guidance of Dr. Rossi, who was crazy enough to hire me four years ago and continually crazy to invite me back every year, um, I have never in my life been so privileged to work with people I respect so much, for students whom I respect so much, and, for, and to work with people that care so fully and completely about the mission set before them. In case you weren't paying attention, class of 2018, you are that mission. And in case you weren't following my poorly set up and poorly executed metaphor, these people in the first row here are here because of you. The people in this audience are here because of you. I am here because of you. Now I'm not brazen enough to talk for the entirety of this staff. I'm not half as eloquent as some and, not, and only about half as presumptuous to think I know what they're thinking. But I am bold enough to speak for myself and, and for me this is not just a graduation. You see, this is the first graduation from Rochester STEM Academy I have had the pleasure of spending all four years with these students. So in my truest nature, instead of doing what I was asked to do, I'm going to, to talk to you today as a member of that cohort. Four years of STEM, the same as those capped and gowned, shining little faces you see now. And as a member of that cohort, I thought it was the opportune time to reflect on the skills these fine young students have developed over four years. When asked to write this speech, I did what they would do. I promptly asked, how much is it worth? And, can I have an extra day? <laughs> then I resorted to our favorite skill as a class, Google. After three and a half hours of cat videos, uh, I ended up on Wikipedia, where most of you go anyways, don't lie, um, looking up graduation speeches. 
and I found a surprising lack of inspiration from faculty speeches which chased labored metaphors about books and chapters and turning pages. Found my way to the more lit side of the internet. Is that how it's said, children? Yeah, yeah there we go. Um, watching Denzel Washington speak about failure and how it's important to overcome and Batman or Michael Keaton show us the warm and showering platitudes over hopeful audiences. And I thought to myself, those warm, fuzzy, empty speeches left me thinking, that is not our style, is it, class of 2018? You see, a hard truth. And as Ms. Wilkes says, after all, we can do hard things. And you have done hard things. And you, class of 2018, are the truth. A simple, elegant truth. Success is hard, but it is worth it. And I have always tried to be as honest as possible with my students and requested only honesty in return. After all, the best high school in America is? Honest. It is it's working. It has never been about anything other than finding your voice. So I'm not going to tell you that upon receiving your hard-earned diplomas today, you will feel any different. That you will somehow be different. In fact, with all my heart, I hope you're not. That you realize that this experience stacked on all of those before are only as good as the ones that follow. I could paint a picture about the darkness of the world and how you are the shining lights that will illuminate it, but that's not what waits for you outside those doors. There is no looming monster, no world of misery that this diploma will somehow be the weapon to slay. No, tomorrow looks like today looks like yesterday, and that is daunting enough, and there's nothing wrong with that. You see, you're not receiving some great gift today. You are being recognized for achievements you have earned. Isn't that a great word? Earned. A challenge accepted and bested. Four years of greatness have been burdened upon us to complete together, and it is now at an end. And I assure everyone here, I was monster enough for them during those four years. <laughs> that wasn't an applaud part, but all right. And I know, class of 2018, as you sit here now, you're not focused on my words, but on how not to trip. Remember to smile and pause for the pictures. And amongst all those thoughts exist the anxiety of tomorrow, the fear of the unknown. What happens after this stage? But I am here to tell you, have that fear. It's healthy. But know that I do not. I see you for what you are, and I am never wrong about these things. And fear is the farthest thing from my mind as you walk this stage today. I have seen you at your Wednesday afternoon best, and at your Monday morning worst. And let me tell you, I know that even on your off days, you are over-prepared for what comes next, whatever you choose that to be. And today, this week, this month, most kids are sitting in cap and gown thinking, I survived, but that is simply not the case for this class. Rochester STEM Academy did only for you what you would do for yourself. And though you may be leaving the building, you are taking STEM with you. And as much as I would like to claim that as my success, I strive only to be honest with these students, and honestly, this is your success. STEM as it is today does not exist without the class of 2018. You have left more in this last year than you have taken from this establishment. And I think I would like that to be my final thought for you. As you walk across this stage, know that it in itself is a metaphor for the path you must walk from now on. Start seated from a place of acknowledgement, having earned your way to this stage as you have done. Stand firm, both feet planted, knowing where you are and where you come from. Don't fear tripping. Just keep your feet moving. The work is half the battle. Have a plan to know where you're going and walk hard. Conviction in every step and remember to smile. 
being kind as you have done every day for the past four years, as you have shown me was possible in ways I could not imagine. And don't forget to pause for the photo op. Days like today deserve to be celebrated. But do not ever forget that between you and your goal on both sides of that path, we, your family, your friends, your teachers, and I look on with amazement at what you have accomplished, at what you will accomplish, but most importantly, what you leave behind. Better. Footprints of better. You see, I was raised to always leave a place better than I found it. And you folks, class of 2018, have demonstrated that in a way that I, cannot only, I can only not imagine. It is a rare honor to have been a part of something so truly amazing as turning a building into a school and a school into a family. And I am blessed that you allowed me to take this journey with you as you blazed a path for better. You are Rochester STEM Academy. Your families are proud. Your friends are proud. Your teachers are proud. And I am proud of you. So, be proud, go forth, leave footprints better wherever you go. And now, class of 2018, go, smile, and walk hard. It is now my distinct honor and pleasure to bring to the microphone board chair Mahmoud Hamoud. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's very difficult to follow an English teacher who is also an orator. You know. <laughs> I can't keep up with him, but I will try uh, to address the community first. But before I go there, I would like to thank the staff of STEM Academy for making this successful graduation under the leadership of Dr. Rasi. And I would like to thank you again. Dr. Jill also was our former chair, board chair. And I would like to recognize that she's not only the speaker, but she was a former, she's part of the board of uh, the STEM Academy. Salam alaikum. You didn't get hurt until last year. So I'm all in. But I'm glad that you hurt the work that you got at the asas school. Can the asas so? Juhdi badan balgiliye. Ina arur tasiya la tomel ay dagan kodi y taalin tadi iskuhela. Din tadi ina ane kafugan dagan kodi ina ane kafugan taalin ti marakin lega heliyena ay kahela. Taso hanu marayna ya hada. إنا أركتان إنت إنا أول كا كجراتويت جروبي أو تامع عدنا هلاي أو إنتو بأي هذا تامع هذا جليان تامع هذا حق لنا صدق كم بده بي سي أو ده وحو يري أف وحو يري وبلاش بوها بلاش ما هين the بي سي أو was not a free education بي سي أو was the budget of deduction from the budget of the STEM Academy. And we sacrificed that and always debated whether it was good or bad to send more schools, more students to the BCO. But the more you send, the more money we lose. But we didn't lose in the other sense because three students graduated with associate degrees. That 68 credits and 69 credits, 31 credits, 11 credits, those are money you would have made out of your pocket if they didn't get those uh, uh, credits from, 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 uh, from RCTC. Marka, wahanidika idala, school ka, wahokudi say yahay, maalimin, أرضي يوالدين والدين تو دور وين بكله إنك قاتان عروت أي سكول في مدان أو أي كقي قاتان وقادان المهضو هدان يجود دبجلين معلكي ومد ذلك رأي 
هدانا وجان وحيالا باهي وباهي هاي وجب باهي هاي إن لو جت هجرة سكول كسر وجان وشنا ما 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 وجان يو لا هدان لو جت بتشري الماء الماء هنا وشنا بدت دالي مركا وحنا إذا كأ إذا كأ عصنا يا دات هين كوميونيتا إن هاد أركان فإذا ذا كسر باهي سا إن أرتا سكول أي إن لو ما مركيسي هاي نو معلمين تو هذا المعلمين مراكنا لكن المستريشن كي يو أساس كي سكول كبو حالة سومالي سومالي دون بحيو سميان إن الهرمر لغو قادو هرمر كان لغو قادو ينا إنا قادو بفايدة إنو لي مركا وحاين دي كودي رجل يا هرتا هو يويكا هو يوين كورتو وانا كسير والدين تي أبياشي بالو علي هو يوين هو يمادان لكن أبياشي بالله حين أبنا هدانو ميش تشوغين دي ويلكي قبلها هو واحد يسكسس في النقطة أنت قبلها هذا هذا الجراتشو يتجرين وارقتا، كوس هو يوم يقول بقى كده بتشرح، ولا شيء لا، وحال لوجس يداي سوق، حال لوجس يداي دقن كنا وحوي هاي وحال يرا، إينا كوا إينا رجع، حال لوجس يداي مقالد ها، لكن ماش لوجس يداي نه وحوي يعني وامل دبات بدن تاعي، بدن كيني ما، بدن كي مركز إنه سكول كأرض جا أودر رو. معلنك هو لو أمين تشري معلنك هو كرباش تشري هذا هو هذا بدر هذا هلا كان مرد عايزه تاسي مركا هو حويا إنك إن هذا صاحب تيد ويا مركا هذا صاحب تيد دنتي سي وكل شيء كرا لكن هذا هذا محاي تأثر هذا سحن ولا دقت وسجنا وسنا وكافو جاني مش تروح على إيران أو مش هو أمريكا هو ليه تبغى دان قاعدو أنا عايز سوسر رأيي تاس أنا مرة بتدي دعوة وحرب تأين وكل شيء أنا كافو جان مركا وحاني دكتور تلينا يا إناد سكول لذا تكتان إناد بارنت ميتينج كسو قريب كشان إناد محيتي مركا سكول كلا كريدس ك التعليم معلمة أوتي مادان ووديسان إنك هيجي محوه هيستا محوه كوه على هلكة محوه بهاي هي تاجره مسجان هوم ورك بانو كيني هوم ورك وإناد كلا يكتا وهوم ورك ملاذ هاي مركو يمات تاسا هرت أقبل لكن نسيبونا عرور تانو وددا البدني هين معلمين تونا وددا البدني هين مركا إلى هاي وحنكب وحنكبرينا إن تنميت كسي وين هلان ويجو ودن كي يدور كي يهل كم بحق قبنا يا إن 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 جامعة كبحان جامعة هنا ما هم حيت جامعة بنجلي يا غوري وين هذا كتاب محاد كبرنا سام مراكن مراكن فائدة قول عليه مراكن فائدة قول عليه هو هنا جامعة تعليق برتي العقد هذا سميس العقد والله ما كرته لكن تعليقه ما له ميس بركة إلى عروت هلا تدعله والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته All right, so we have a video speech and it's Amy Klobuchar and we wrote a letter to her in on November. And it's going to be a six-minute video, and it'll be presented on this projector. Thank you. Hello to everyone gathered for the Rochester STEM Academy's graduation. I think you know I'd much rather be there with you in person. But there is just a few things going on right now, so I'm honored to join you via video. <clears throat> to the parents, faculty, and family members, thank you. The success of your students is your success too. I know how proud you are. And graduates, congratulations. You have all worked hard for this moment and you did it because you understand the importance of your education. It's fair to say I wouldn't be here without the power of education. My grandpa was an iron ore miner who had to quit school in sixth grade to support his nine brothers and sisters and then later my dad and his brother and he saved money in a coffee can in the basement so he could send my dad to a two-year community college up in Ely. My mom got her college degree and taught second grade until she was 70 years old. And by the way, my sister also didn't graduate from high school but got her GED later, worked in manufacturing, then went to a two-year community college and then went on to get a four-year degree. There are many paths to success in America. And here I am today, the granddaughter of an iron ore miner, the daughter of a teacher and a journalist, 
and the first woman elected to the U.S. Senate from the state of Minnesota. That is the power of education. And today you're graduating from a school that's set up not just to succeed in college, but to succeed in life. Rochester STEM Academy has given you the skills that you need to compete. Your education will be the key to building a better future for our state and our country and our world. One of you may develop the next Google or lay the groundwork for a stronger modern American infrastructure system or help develop the next major medical tech breakthrough. You're sure in a good town to do that. You're also graduating at both a challenging and exciting time. Challenging because of economic and international and political upheaval exciting because of technological advancements, endless career possibilities, and medical cures within reach. I have no doubt you're prepared for all of this. So as you graduate today, I want to share one story about how you can choose to take what you've learned to go out into the world and to go on to do great things. So last year, I heard from Theo Epstein, who is the president of the Chicago Cubs. Okay, Twins fans, we can deal with this, but this is a story of Game 7 of the 2016 World Series. The Cubs were four outs away from their first World Series title in 108 years. There were literally people that had radios out at the gravestones in the cemeteries so their ancestors could hear the moment. They'd been waiting so long. That is a true story. But then what happened? Well, the Cubs blew a three-run lead and the game went into extra innings and then a rain delay. Now, those of you who've been on teams know this. During rain delays or when a game is going bad, players usually hit the locker, sit by themselves, maybe look down at their phone, focus on what went wrong during the game, oftentimes engrossed in their own worlds. Well, game seven was different. The Cubs had the full burden of history on their shoulders. Theo Epstein told me that he watched from the hallway as they made a choice to come together. There they were in the locker room. And instead of blaming one another, looking down at their phones, there was a discussion. And it wasn't led by a superstar. It was led by the guy who was having a terrible year at bat, the worst season of his career. He led the discussion. They went back and forth and talked about the season they had and how they were going to do this together, win or lose. And they went back out, and they rallied, and they won. The message? Some of us will go through our careers with our heads down focused on ourselves and climbing the next rung of our own ladders. Others will go through our lives with our heads up as part of something larger than ourselves. We will be aware of other people, embrace differences, and whenever we can, put collective interests in front of our own priorities. And that's what I hope you'll do because you will be role models with the kind of education you have received. People will listen to you, they'll look up to you, and this school has prepared you for that role. It's taught you not only the STEM schools you'll need, but how important it is to reach out to people from other sides of the town, across racial lines, religious lines, political lines, and across the world. Whether it's welcoming students from all corners of our globe to our schools, or opening up our neighborhoods to people seeking new beginnings. The key is this, we must do all of it with an understanding and empathy for the people around us. Science brings us together in that way. The truth is, as a society, we can amass great wealth and develop the most advanced technologies, but choosing to help others and to improve the world we live on, to make people's lives better, that's what really matters, and that only happens with you. With your education, your drive, your commitment, you can and you will be the guardian angels to so many people you meet, to those maybe you haven't met, and to those you may not know and will never know what you've done for them. This may mean choosing to volunteer. It may mean choosing a career where you help others, whether it's in the public sector, the nonprofit sector, or the private sector. It may simply mean a kind word at the right time, a momentary decision, a gesture when someone needs a person to defend them when times are tough. That's what it's all about. You will be the guardian angels of your community, of this country, and for everything we stand for. So that's a lot on your shoulders, graduates. It's some pretty heavy wings, but somehow I know you're ready. I know you're ready and you're up for it. You're ready to be bold, to lead, and to fly. Congratulations, class of 2018.
So I'm going to introduce our keynote speaker. Dr. Jill Lee Otley has been associated with Rochester Math and Science for several years <clears throat> and then helped the very formation of Rochester STEM Academy. She did research during her, um, for her PhD dissertation on the immigrant experience and, and uh, the children of Rochester Math and Science Academy. And then later helped Hamoud create Rochester STEM Academy. She is a lifelong learner and a great example because while she was chair of our board, she completed her PhD and was hired by Luther College to be an associate professor of education and to help create tomorrow's teachers. Would you please welcome Dr. Jill Lee Dodley. <laughs> Good evening. Can you hear me okay? Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, class of 2018, for inviting me to speak to you this evening. And welcome to the many families and friends gathered here to celebrate this momentous occasion. I am honored and humbled to be here, and I promise to keep my speech short so we can get to the celebratory portion of the evening. Recently, I had the opportunity to spend a little time with the senior class and I asked them to share with me their favorite memory of their time at Rochester STEM Academy. As they went around the room, spontaneously sharing their memories, I was struck by the depth of sincerity in their responses and the way in which they described STEM as an extension of family. As I sat there listening, I felt a bit overwhelmed, to be honest, with emotion, thinking about this amazing place this amazing community, this amazing school that has taken shape over the past, I think, seven years. Is that about right? That's about right. So one of the expectations of a commencement speech is that you will receive some sage advice as you embark on your post high school journey. So I thought I would share with you a guiding principle that has helped me find purpose and meaning in my career and my personal life. That overarching guiding principle is a strong sense of equity and justice and a deep desire to fight injustice whenever and wherever it may occur. To start us off this evening, I would like to share with you a quote from Brian Stevenson. Brian Stevenson is an African-American man, a Harvard-educated lawyer, founder of the Equal Justice Institute, and author of the profoundly moving book, Just Mercy. He states, and I quote, the opposite of poverty is not wealth. The opposite of poverty is justice. Let me repeat that. The opposite of poverty is not wealth. The opposite of poverty is justice. It's powerful, right? Now I want to share with you two stories from my own life that illustrate, I hope, how I have come to understand the importance of equity and justice as a guiding principle and a way to find meaning and purpose in my life. So here goes. When I was in second grade, I must have been about seven or eight, the principal's voice came over the loudspeaker asking the teachers to please send three or four boys down to the cafeteria to help move the lunch tables. It was for some sort of event that was happening. Well, I don't know what possessed me at that moment, but I instantly shot my hand up in the air because I was mad that the principal only requested boys to help move the tables. Keep in mind, I'm only about seven or eight at the time, and I don't really know where that sense of injustice came from at such a young age. But my teacher, Miss Whalen, she must have been in her 40s or her 50s, she didn't bat an eye. She called on Dan Schwartz, David Barr, and me. Now, this might not seem like a big deal to all of you, but this was 1970, folks, and the women's movement was just beginning in the United States. I remember the three of us walking down the hall, and I remember feeling really proud that I was the only girl amongst all those boys. To be honest, I vaguely remember actually moving the tables. They were not that heavy. They were the type where the legs fold under and you can just move and stack them. But. Have you ever un looked underneath the tables in the cafeteria? There is a lot of gross stuff under there. Old wads of gum and dried up food. It's really pretty disgusting. 
So to be honest, I was totally repulsed by this whole task that I was completing, and I was starting to regret my decision to volunteer to move the tables. So much for my budding feminism. But I think in all seriousness, it is important to stand up for equal opportunities, even if it's not as glamorous as you thought it would be. Fast forward two years to fourth grade. I would like you to think for a moment, graduates, when you were in fourth grade, what did you aspire to be when you grow up? Can you remember? Anyone? Think back. All right. Well, when I was in fourth grade, I wanted to be the first woman to coach in the NFL, the National Football League. I know. <laughs> I didn't quite make it. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but that was my dream. Now, my dad was a college football coach, so this wasn't as far-fetched as it might seem. But you can see that I like to defy stereotypes. I also loved playing sports, and it didn't hurt that I could actually throw a pretty mean spiral. Mr. Jones might be proud. I don't know. I don't know if I still can do that. <laughs> anyway, that year for Halloween, I dressed up as a football player. My dad brought me the shoulder pads and the helmet and the jersey from his team. Um, and I, it's kind of funny, I don't remember either of my parents discouraging me or telling me that I shouldn't be or couldn't be a football player for Halloween. And I'm grateful for that because it did seem a bit odd if we're being honest. That night, as I went around trick-or-treating, people were saying things like, great costume, little fella, and go get him, little man, and other things that made me realize they all assumed I was a boy. And actually, I did not want to be a boy. I wanted to be a girl who played football. There is a difference. I remember feeling embarrassed and even humiliated that night. But no one could see the tears that were trickling down my face because they were hidden by the football helmet. So here I was once again, trying to do what seemed fair and just to me as a young girl, having the ability to choose what I wanted to do and what I wanted to be without being limited by my gender. But the outcome wasn't what I anticipated. Still, I'm glad I followed my heart in each of those instances. And I encourage you graduates to always follow your heart wherever that may lead you. Although I have only experienced what I consider minor injustice based on my gender, it taught me to be empathetic to the many injustices around me and to use the privilege that I possess to help make the world a better place. After college, this desire to fight for those who are less advantaged led me to become a special education teacher, just like Ms. Hicks. <laughs> Teaching children who had physical and mental disabilities. Later, I would go on to get my PhD at the University of Minnesota, where my sense of justice expanded to include an interest in education for immigrant and refugee youth. This, of course, led me right here to Rochester STEM Academy, the best school in the United States. <laughs> right? <laughs> I am so grateful for the friendships I have made here and for the students and families I have met ever since walking through the doors of Rochester Math and Science Academy back in 2007, which is about 11 years ago. It's been a long time. In conclusion, we all know that there is plenty of injustice in the world, in the United States, and right here in Rochester. Injustice based on race, skin color, ethnicity, religion, language, accent, gender, disability, and so on. As you go forth, be willing to stand up for what you believe in, for what you know is right and true and just, but also stay safe. Standing up against injustice can be risky at times, unfortunately for some people more than others. So be sure to look for support and allies along the way. As the great Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. reminds us, 
The moral arc of the universe is long, but it bends toward justice. It bends toward justice. We need young people like you to help lead the way to a fairer, more just, and more humane society. Let's get to work, shall we? Thank you very much. Ramadan Karim, and congratulations to the graduating class of 2018. Do you want me to introduce the next? Yeah, I, I would like to introduce Sagal Yusuf, who's going to read the, the name. Thank you. Before Sagal reads the names of the graduates, could I please have the entire staff of Rochester STEM Academy please stand up? I can't do this without these people. And would you come up and line up and can you help them? Get Abdurrahman Afe. Rahim Ali. Nasreen Awad. <laughs> Abdi Kareen Bahur. Ibrahim 
Nima Kharie. Najma Mohammed. Abdul Khadir Nuh. Class of 2018, would you please stand? Class of 2018, please rise. 
This is the last part of the ritual. Would you please take your, um, please take your um, tassel, move it from the right to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, it's official. The class of 2018 has graduated. Please welcome them into your adult world, into our community. You think. There are cookies and refreshments. The ceremony is over. Thank you.